vision, my God. When I saw that, I wanted to jump over. You see beauty in your wine? See you tomorrow. Make me squirt. Where have I saw Andy? I thought you were in the house, man. I thought you were the fuck is this? I appreciate your friendship. Thanks for always being here for me. Thank you. We're grateful, God. I've never been to the side. Kelly Ray, forever. The housemates couldn't just stop fascinating on how good the ex housemates looked. Victoria said on St. Cassia, she wanted to just to jump over that demarcation and, you know, give her a, a tight hug that she kept saying, oh, my girl, come here. And Kelly Ray affirmed to that, saying they all looked good. They all looked fine and different. And Anita was not telling them, don't worry, there's just a few hours to go and we'll all get to see them again. Victoria now said, oh, about Chisoba, that Chisoba looked so good. See, the Chisoba I saw today. <laughs> did you watch that party did you see the dance move between chisoba and ben i'm sure that dating i can bet my money that those two they are officially it's no longer talking stage or what they are doing in the house they are officially dating they don't even need to tell me from their body it. language even the blind could tell anita said that she's just happy because earlier on she was tensed she didn't know what to expect but now going in there seeing everybody that she's super excited and kelly ray as well said in fact that seeing everybody looking fine and fresh that that's okay for him that it's a good sign that something good is happening in the real world victoria couldn't just stop talking about cassia but indeed cassia looked good guys in that outfit well she said she felt emotional seeing her and even handy now when she saw handy she couldn't recognize handy she thought maybe big brother brought in a new housemate when he also told victoria that it's not just only you that even suj himself confirmed same thing you just said now saying that he was out there looking for handy only to now discover that the girl on the blonde hair is handy, that she looked so different. Or more, handy just polished, you know, gagged up tonight, looking so different and beautiful. I actually love how she dressed. In fact, handy, chinwe, and ne, ne of chinwe remains my best dress for tonight. In fact, Nene's appearance shocked me. When Nene was in the house, I never even knew she was this hot. I know she's a fine girl, don't get me wrong. Fine girl, intelligent girl, first class graduate, with her glasses that always give her this nerd look. But seeing her at that party, <laughs> oh my choco. And looking at the outfit, like I was not, I was not beginning to think. Ah, uh -uh. when Nene was in the house. Did she have this uh, huge bobby? Like, what's going on here? She changed. And I love it for her. She was looking so beautiful, dancing happily. Well, Victoria couldn't stop talking about Cassia. And she said, well, she's excited. She's leaving tomorrow. And by the way, Victoria sounded so, like this is the loudest and happiest I've seen and heard Victoria talk in the house. Her voice was so loud. I said, ah. Uh -uh. Is it just happiness or, well, maybe a little liquor? Because she was just very audible tonight. No matter how happy Victoria even sounds regarding seeing Cassia, I know nobody in that house will be happier than Kelly Ray. In fact, Kelly Ray started doing the gratitude chant, thanking God that he's, so, he's forever grateful coming here that honestly he has no reason to be sad if i kept on saying i'm a blessing to my generation unborn greatness is my portion i'm blessed i'm a winner coming upstairs nelly then told kelly that you should just go and thank your god that you already married cassia before coming on the show because with the way cassia was looking tonight that's on and on she knows cassia is a very beautiful babe but seeing her tonight <laughs> that you should just thank your stars because situations like tonight can even lead to the both of you coming out and then a one wicked guy go just rush come marry the babe and kelly ray said her that he paid in full low he paid in full and victoria kept asking kelly ray did you see that beauty <laughs> that he choke victoria said seeing how beautiful cassia looked that she was overwhelmed and Kelly Ray said, of course, that he knows. And then told Cassia, like, he said it out loud, saying, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, hmm, make me squirt. And I'm like, bro, it's long overdue. 
Well, Kelly Ray also told Wani that seeing Handy, he was so shocked that in fact he even had to tell Handy, I beg get out, you're too fine. He then told Wani to anticipate her own beauty, that you know that when you come out, this is how you're going to look. And then when you relax in your IVM king, ah, that in fact, you don't even need to bother yourself about getting a cream or rubbing a cream that you should not even buy cream, you should not even rub cream. That even without showering, that you're still going to look beautiful. By the time you'll be cruising in your car, AC will be blowing you. <laughs> that in fact, you should just give him a high five. And Wani did that. And Wani said, of course, that she knows now. Uh, that she knows that when she lives here, she's going to be a fine babe. Really, she's a fine babe. So when the girls are start making more mula, ah, ah. <laughs> he go choke. Up next, and Ozzy is in the restroom with Victoria, telling Victoria about a particular hairstyle she makes that he likes. And Victoria asking him, oh, so you've been crushing, you know? Just say it, you've been crushing, just tell me now. Say it. And Ozzy said, well, that, you know, you're a fine babe. You're the finest girl in maybe Nigeria season 9. And Victoria was like, oh, thank you so much. Thank you for the compliment. Only forces it to say, no, it's not about me saying it. It's whether you believe it. Do you believe? Do you believe that, <laughs> hey, this guy is something else? Well, he then went ahead to ask Victoria, I hope you're fine. Are you okay? That's the most important thing. That's what matters if you're good. Up next, Kelly Ray and Ozzy discussing on how good all the ex-housemates looked and Kelly, Kelly Ray talking about Mickey's outfit in particular. Well, Victoria then came in, chipped in laughing, saying honestly, she was happy seeing of the, all of them looking that beautiful. And Ozzy then asked her, is that why you are this excited? Like, is that what's making you this happy? That he has never seen you this excited since this show started. And Victoria was like, no, you won't understand. Seeing everybody tonight, no, that made her really feel good. And just then, Ozzy started gisting Victoria that O.C. mentioned to him, you know, they were, I guess they were communicating either eye contact or they could hear each other, that O.C. told him he went out with Sean and they would still be going out to... And Victoria screamed, Sean, that's my guy, he looked good as well. And Ozzy now then told Victoria that, you've never mentioned to me if I look good or not. You're just telling me about other people. How about me? And Victoria said, ah, ah, normally, you'll be fine guy now. But as he told Victoria that she, he's not talking about on a normal day, he's talking about today. And Victoria then told him, you look good. And Ozzy told her exactly that that's what he wants to hear and not about how good other people looked. And Victoria then asked Ozzy, since when did it matter? And he said, eh, he wants to hear it, at least appreciate me in my presence. And Victoria then told Ozzy, of course, I appreciate your presence. I appreciate our friendship. I appreciate you being there for me. Well, Victoria still continued with her Cassia talk. And Ozzy asking her, so you and Cassia can't wait to enjoy yourself outside. And she said, yes, that can you see the connection? Did you see that? And Ozzy said, how, will I, how do you even expect me to see every other person? I just saw my brother after like how many days? That in fact, that this house really taught him a lot about him and his brother. That he made them realize how much they need each other to function. Although he can function on an individual. But this house, it just, you know, spiked something in them. And he then told uh, uh, Victoria that, in fact, he told the brother that this particular outfit you're wearing, I want it in two pieces, make for me and switch. I want to have a similar outfit like this with switch. Well, Victoria at this point then asked Ozzy, how were you able to communicate to him? And Ozzy said, uh, uh, we are twins now. We know what we are, saying, we are saying to one another. In fact, that he even has an information for Wani. And then Ozzy started calling Wani, but... I guess Wani didn't really show up on time, so he forgot about that and started telling Victoria about how Osi told him how uh, proud of him he is, how he misses him. I wonder how they were able to say all of this, even with that loud music. Anyways, the camera then moved to Aneta, who at that point was complaining about Suj taking so much time in the loo, that she wants to make use of the loo. Her tummy is uh, is not really good. She's feeling a certain way. She even wants to throw up and all of that. But so she please do well and come out before she do that right here in the house. Back to Ozzy and Victoria. So Ozzy said initially he was surprised seeing his brother vibing with Dami and Chinwe. 
not until Dami and Chime then came and apologized to him. That means communication was going on, even with the demarcation. I guess they could hear each other that they came, apologized to him, and well, he will still know what happened when he lives here. Victoria said tonight was such an emotional one for her too. And speaking of Dami, I actually loved Dami's outfits, but they make it to my favorite outfits for the night. But feel free to tell me who is your best dressed female and best dressed male housemates. Sorry, ex housemates rather. Meanwhile, there is more to come in our after Saturday night video highlights. Do well to watch the part two of this very video where we talk about other things that happened in the house. Kindly turn on your notification bell so when the video drops, you'll be notified. Thank you for watching. Thank you for always watching. Thank you for always coming here to watch my videos. And I'll see you in the very next one. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Yeah. You see the connection. Why do you make Come on, shake me. You know why?